If only Liz McGill had followed Benjamin Franklin's advice. Better slip with foot than tongue. And so the University of Pennsylvania president has now resigned. After testimony in Congress last week that pitted donors and even the state's governor against her. Specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. McGill's resignation Saturday followed that testimony on Capitol Hill, which generated an avalanche of criticism that gained speed. McGill tried to backtrack in the aftermath. It's evil, plain and simple. I want to be clear. A call for genocide of Jewish people is threatening. The walk back was too little too late. And McGill's wavering before Congress and afterward led many to believe she could not lead through what's seen as a crisis. 36 hours ago, I, along with most of campus, sought refuge in our rooms. As classmates and professors chanted proudly for the genocide of Jews while igniting smoke bombs and defacing school property. And in fact, Penn's president did choose silence. McGill's resignation will boost scrutiny of anti-Semitism on U.S. college campuses. Jewish students continue to charge that rules on free speech have been applied unevenly, protecting other minority groups while not protecting Jews. There are two fixes. Universities could clamp down on pro-Palestinian speech seen as anti-Semitic, or could relax speech codes across the board, allowing speech targeting a variety of minorities. It's a crossroads and a reckoning.